This is the new maker Uno board from Novoten. Novoten Technology Corporation is a Taiwan-based semiconductor company established in 2008. Novoten Technology is a leading semiconductor manufacturer in ARM Cortex M0 microcontrollers and ARM Cortex M4 microcontrollers. This product is from the same company. You can use this board similar for getting started with the Novoten series of microcontrollers. The board is similar to Arduino Uno board and has a similar number of pins and interface equivalent to Arduino Uno. There is also a separate board manager option for this board and the best part is you can program this board using Arduino IDE. This is the getting started guide with no maker Uno board from the Novota No Micro and you see 131 series of microcontroller family. Using this board, the users can develop and verify the application program easily with ADC, PWM, I2C, SPI, UART and other peripheral functions. In this guide, we will go through the NoMaker Uno board overview, specifications, pin details, programming and method to use the board with Arduino IDE. We will go through some projects like the blinking of LED, controlling RGB light using the analog pin, using DST11 sensor and controlling servo motor with PWM input. This product is sponsored by Nuvotin and Tech Design, which is electronic component and IoT solution provider in Taiwan. Nuvotin is one of the suppliers on the Tech Design platform. Tech Design brings together a network of 500 plus verified electronics design and manufacturing suppliers to support you throughout your product development journey. You can also jumpstart your project by leveraging one of your 1600 plus customizable electronics hardware and IoT solutions to reduce the cost and time of your hardware development. Welcome back again. Let's have an overview of this board first. The new Maker Uno is a specific development tool for the new Microcortex M0 series by which users can develop and verify the applications program easily. The purpose is to provide a set of development and learning of both packages with ADC, PWM, I2C, SPI, etc. peripheral functions. The new Maker Uno includes Two portions, the evaluation board and the new link debugger or programmer. The new link is also included so users do not need additional ICE or debug the equipment. The board supports Arduino Uno Revision 3 connectivity along with a virtual COM port on USB. You can program this board using Arduino IDE, IAR eWorm and Kyle RVMDK development environment. The board has a flexible power supply. Using the USB, you can supply 5V or 3.3V. The external wind supports voltage between 7 volt to 12 volt as the board has a dedicated voltage regulator IC. The board also has a power LED, TXRX LED, user LED and ICE status LED. There is one push button on the board to reset the microcontroller. As you can see here, these are the digital pins and these are analog and power supply pins similar to that of the Arduino Uno board. At the center of the board, there is the main chip called the NEC 131SD2AE microcontroller. The USB port here can be used for programming and serial communication. In addition to loading external applications, it also provides virtual serial port VCOM functions. The debug messages through user-friendly NuLink Me are displayed on the computer screen. The virtual COM functions can be used for Arduino IDE, Kyle, and IAR. To enable the VCOM function on no link me, turn on all SW2 pins. Please refer to this table for more details. Apart from all these, you can follow our website article for more details and also go through the dataset for more information. Now, let's move to the board usage part. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use this board with Arduino IDE. First, we need to install the device driver. Download the drivers from the link and then install it on your computer system. After driver installation, open your Arduino IDE and then go to File. Then to Preference, under this Preference option, enter this board manager URL. If you have multiple URL link, you can separate them with a comma. Then go to Tools, then to Board and to Boards Manager. Then search for NoMaker. The board manager will show the NoMaker board. 
you can install the board on the Arduino IDE. Once the installation is complete, go back. Now, go to Tools and select NoMaker Uno NSC131 board from the board list. After this, connect the NoMaker Uno board to your computer via USB cable. Before connecting the NoMaker Uno development board to the computer, please enable SW2 of the VCOM functions. All the SW2 pins shall be joined on. Open the device manager and check if the USB is detected. If it is not detected, please reinstall the NoLink USB driver. Now the device is ready and you can start programming the NoMaker Uno NFC131 via Arduino IDE. So the first program that we will use here is the blinking of LED. The onboard LED on the board is connected to pin 13 of this board with a pull up resistor. Copy the following code and upload it to the board. While uploading the code, the sale window will show you the following message. If you got this message, it means the code has been uploaded to your NoMaker Uno board via Arduino IDE. The onboard LED on the board will blink after the interval of every one second. The second example is controlling the RGB LED module. I am using one of the ready-made RGB modules with this board. Connect the R, G, B and GND pin of RGB LED to NuMaker Uno 2, 3, 4 and GND pin is shown here. Now copy the following code and upload it to the NuMaker Uno board. After uploading the code, a different color LED will glow one after another. The third example we will use here is related to the ADC example. Here, we will control the LED blinking frequency interval using the potentiometer. We will use a 10K potentiometer and connect it pin to the analog pin A0 of NuMaker Uno. Connect the LED positive terminal to pin 8 of NuMaker Uno via a 560 ohm resistor. Copy the following code and upload it to the NuMaker Uno board. After uploading the code, Rotate the potentiometer so that the LED blinking frequency can be controlled. Coming to the fourth example part, we will read the temperature and humidity data from DS211 sensor. Connect the VCC, GND, and output pin of DS211 to 5 volt, GND, and pin 10 of the UNO board. You can use jumper wires to connect the DS211 sensor to the board. Copy the following code and Upload it to the NuMaker Uno board. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor and you will be able to see the humidity and temperature data. The fifth example we will use here is related to PWM usage. Using the PWM signal, we will control the speed and rotation of servo motor. I am using SC19 servo motor here. Connect the VCC, GND and output pin of servo motor to 5V, GND and pin 9 of the UNO board. You can use a jumper wire for connection. Copy the following code and upload it to the UNO board. After uploading the code, the servo motor shaft will rotate anti-clockwise and clockwise direction. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.